the used condoms? We do not. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> I, I can't even begin to tell you the weird thing. We're deeply entrenched in this immersive experience. FYI, I'm not going to be nice to you. We say about people who do method acting. You only ever see people doing the method when they're playing an asshole. I never blur the lines with my personal life and my work life. Method acting is wrong. Nobody wants to say it, but I'm going to prove it to you all today. We're going to watch some clips right here. So without further ado, let's get into it. The used condoms? We do not. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was, it was... Step back, friend. You can't just say use condoms and we're just going to, like, you forget... Know, it, I know it's a family show, but we can, Don't worry. We can <laughs> educate people here. At least they were used. Uh, Who did you send use condoms to? Oh, everybody. Um, maybe they didn't want to tell you, but... No, I mean, I did a lot of things to, to create a dynamic, to create an element of surprise, of spontaneity. That's surprise! <laughs> and, uh... And to really break down any kind of walls that- It's crazy that he has this smile on his face when he's talking about this. It's not something at all in the acting world that should be normalized. That may be there. I mean, the Joker is somebody who doesn't really respect things like personal space or boundaries. Yeah, we, we I got that. Jared, Jared said- wait, 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 we can't just skip over that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta well, use condom. What do you say? What do you think? You, you know, you say Jared has gone full Joker. Jared, he went, he went full Joker, you know, and the rule generally is never go full Joker. <laughs> what I want to hear Will Smith say is that's wrong. That should never happen. No actor should ever do that. We need to talk about this individual who went and sent these inappropriate gifts to the people he was working with. Yeah. Did you get one? Yes, I got what do you so do? many weird things. I, I can't even begin to tell you the weird things I got. Give what me. did you think? I mean, by that point, I was I kind of felt like I knew the Joker a bit, so I, it wasn't as alarming. But uh, yeah, there were many instances where I didn't know what to expect with Jared. I got a number of gifts from Jared. Okay, what he's what he sent. I don't like to talk about because- you Tell me he sent people used condoms. Yeah, he sent used condoms and Just, uh, sticky Playboy magazines. I mean, it just wasn't right. For some reason, when it comes to acting, it's like, no, this is what they have to do because it's an art form. And the thing that we have to do as actors is we have to stop justifying this type of behavior. Again, with method acting, people try to make it seem like it's this interesting, eccentric, artful thing that takes a lot of hard work and dedication. And then this is how it's portrayed to us as an audience when we're watching it from interviews. So this is what Lady Gaga had to say about method acting. But I think that for those of us that commit ourselves to method acting, that there's something about us that's just fully committing ourselves to the art on a cellular level, that we're, we're deeply entrenched in this immersive experience. I feel it when I sing, I feel it when I make music, and I feel it when I'm acting. When I sing jazz music, I, I consider it a great privilege and honor to take with me all the great musicians of the past and bring forth this great music. So I do the same when I'm working on characters. Now let's go ahead and look at what Anne Hathaway had to say about Meryl Streep. So then when I met her again, it was it was better, but she was very kind and uh, I thought, oh great, I'm gonna get to work with Meryl Streep. I'll get to hear all the, the back, you know, behind the scenes gossip about what Robert De Niro's like, what, you know, Clint Eastwood's like. And she's just like, oh, just, just FYI, I'm not gonna be nice to you on this movie set, but you're lovely. Wow. <laughs> so, but, but no, she was staying in character. Yeah, just because she was gonna stay in character. Now, I don't know if Meryl Streep is doing this all the time for every movie, but if it's true that she's being rude and mean to Anne Hathaway throughout the entire filming process, that's not a fun experience to be a part of, especially if that's what you have to do to get into character. As an artist, as an individual, we have to take care of ourselves. And especially when you have a big part in a movie, your job is to also help take care of everybody else. And you don't do that when you make other people feel uncomfortable. It's not right to do in this artistry and it's not right to do as a human being. Now let's talk about the people in Hollywood who talk against method acting, because it's always good to get both sides of the story. You're seeing people who are saying, hey, they're using method acting. Now listen to the other side. What do you say about people who do method acting? You only ever see people doing the method when they're playing an asshole. <laughs> method acting, of course, is a technique through which performers immerse themselves in their characters in an attempt to deliver a more authentic performance. Actors like Pattinson, however, have recently spoken out against method acting. Here's what Samuel L. Jackson had to say. It's a job of playing make-believe. 
You're supposed to be able to safely come into this space, work, give emotionally, and not be harmed by it. You're supposed to be able to go into it safely, meaning you as the individual are not getting harmed by it, and then the people around you are also not getting harmed by it, both physically and emotionally, because it's acting, you're supposed to pretend. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what Tom Holland had to say about this. I've always been really good at separating my onset emotions from my personal life emotions. As a young kid, I used to really heavily rely on my personal emotions to get them to come across on screen. And I just found it really unhealthy. I just found that like the line between my life and my character's life would be blurred. And ultimately, at the end of the experience of making the film, I would be a very different person, but not because of my experiences as Tom, it would be because of my experiences as my character. So I decided very early on to find certain techniques and certain ways to get into those emotions from a sort of technical point of view. I never sit on set and think about my my mum getting sick or my or never speaking to my brothers again or something like that. I never blur the lines with my personal life and my work life. I always leave work at work. The truth is you don't have to go down that method approach in order to achieve the roles and achieve your characters. He's still young and to be able to figure this out at a young age is extremely important. I applaud him for this. I applaud him for even speaking about this because again, not enough people do. And when people don't speak about it, that makes one other thing seem like the norm, but it's not. Now we've been having more of a serious tone throughout this video because the topic is a pretty serious topic, but I wanna show something else that's more of a comedy, it's fun, but it still deals with this whole thing that we're talking about just to help even exemplify the points. Let's go ahead and get into it. Always remember you, son. <laughs> and cut. Okay, great job, Devin. You can get up now. Devin! He's got stopped his own heart for the scene. Medic! We're losing him! Claire! <laughs> now that is method acting. How was it? You didn't actually have to stop your heart. It's just a story. We're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. Take two. He takes the changing lives thing very seriously. Another one for safety. What? I'm in it. What? This is just funny to watch because it's so extreme. Because with acting, again, it's acting, it's pretending. You don't have to go to such an extreme where, oh my God, yes, you don't have to stop your heart. But it's other things where it's like, you have to play a crazy character. You don't have to go and lock yourself in a box in order to go and portray that character. You just have to go and pretend and use your actor toolbox, your toolkit to go and build, develop, and create those characters. Now, from a technical perspective, everything that we've been talking about today is the general consensus term for the modern look at method acting, where you go and live out your characters every single day. Now, here's what I will say. With method acting, the true technical term for method acting is that there are different methods Fids of acting, Stella Adler, Meisner, Strasberg, but typically what I'm referring to throughout this video is just the general term when people say method acting is that idea where typically they're living out the character every single day without turning it off. If it was true that method acting was the only way to approach acting, then every single Oscar winner would be a method actor, and that's just not the case. And because method acting can be very harmful to yourself and it can be very harmful to the people you're working with, both physically and emotionally, well then you might as well go and use another tactic. This is a video that I had to make and I had to tell you all why method acting is wrong. This is why I don't teach method acting. A lot of you have asked me before on this channel, hey, can we talk about method acting? Can you teach method acting? This is the reason that I don't teach method acting. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the other individuals around you. And my job is to be able to make the most efficient actors possible. So I hope you all like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything. We're posting two videos a week now. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in our 10 hour acting masterclass, our 2.0 version, that's always gonna be linked down in the description down below and also in the comment section. And now if you found this video really helpful and you enjoyed it and you found it insightful and you learned something from it, then you're gonna really love this video right over here. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.